how did Harry Styles get so big? The former One Direction star Harry Styles has gone from lovable X Factor contestant to global icon. He started out in One Direction, a band formed by Simon Cowell, who dominated the charts after coming third in X Factor. The band consisted of Louis Tomlinson, Zayn Malik, Nal Horan, Liam Payne and, of course, Harry Styles. The band was well known for releasing upbeat and catchy pop songs beloved across the world. They even got a film about their time in the band called This Is Us, released in 2013. Although Zayn left the band in 2015 to pursue other projects, their final album Made in the AM sold 2.4 million copies worldwide. One Direction ran from 2010 to 2016, when they went on an indefinite hiatus. With five chart-topping albums under their belt, each of the boys have gone on to have successful solo careers. After the band split, Heartthrob Harry topped charts in the US, UK and around the world. He has had three albums to date, self-titled first album Harry Styles in 2017, Fine Line in 2019, and now 2022's Harry's House. The catchy tune As It Was from Harry's House was so big across the pond that it spent 15 weeks at number one in the US. But it wasn't only the music charts Harry was flying high in. He topped the film box office charts with his appearance alongside Florence Pugh and Chris Pine in Olivia Wilde's Don't Worry Darling. He also gained critical acclaim for his role in the gay drama My Policeman and became the first man to appear solo on the cover of Vogue and has a collaborative collection with Gucci. Styles isn't without controversy, however. In September of 2022, the One Direction star appeared alongside his then-girlfriend Olivia Wilde at the Venice Film Festival to promote their much-anticipated film Don't Worry Darling. While on stage, as the cast and crew took their seats, Harry left fans baffled as he appeared to spit on co-star Chris Pine. Eagle-eyed fans spotted the bizarre moment as Harry made a spitting motion towards him, causing Chris to freeze and look down at his lap in disbelief. It was wonderful, wonderful, wonderful to be back in New York. I just popped very quickly to Venice to spit on Chris Pine. Whether this was an inside joke or not, it still remains to be seen. Harry continues to wow and amaze as he goes from strength to strength as a global superstar. The 28-year-old has had sellout world tours, with Love on Tour winning the Golden Ticket Award for selling out a total of five shows at Madison Square Garden. He achieved all this while spreading love, acceptance and positivity too. Harry has been a huge philanthropist in his time, as well as going on record saying he, quote, believes in equal rights for everyone. He has also never felt the need to label his sexuality, despite being repeatedly questioned on it since he was 19. Harry sports an androgynous and sexually ambiguous look. His Vogue cover where Styles sported a dress was a highly discussed topic upon its debut, getting praised by fans and critics alike for its inclusivity. It's easy to forget just how big Harry has become, because he's so in demand he's hardly ever home in the UK. He managed to get home in time for Christmas, with his mother and twist posting a picture on Instagram of herself, Harry, his sister Gemma and Gemma's boyfriend. And with Brit and Grammy Awards expected to follow in February, 2023 looks set to be an even bigger year for the down-to-earth hitmaker.